Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a chocolate covered pretzel box because these are great for giving for the holidays. And this one holds four. I think I've made one like quite a few years ago and I think I had two in it. I can't even remember y'all. It's been so long. I'll try to find it in my videos and I'll link it in the description. But um, this one is such a good one. It's a really nice size box. If you don't want to make the pretzels, I actually made the ones in here. Um, you can fill this with Lynn truffles, Hershey's Kisses, anything like that. It would be really cute. But I did make these. And these are some of the ones that I made. I made eight of them and I made them in like, gosh, maybe 20 minutes. They're so easy to make. Make them instead of buying them because they're so much better. But I just used, this one I used um, some little peppermint and then I used just some different kinds of sprinkles on these. But also, if if you do this, put them in a, a food safe bag. These were Stampin' Ups and I, they're two by eight. But I'll link some in the description so that you can see um, what to use for them because they're really, really good to keep them covered. And they keep it keeps them fresh as well. All right, so this is what I'm sharing. It's a good size box. This box is eight inches and it is two and a half inches wide and eight inches tall. And the width, well, the width is two and a quarter. All right, so this is what we're making. I put a handle on it. You don't have to, but I thought if you want to hang it in a, on a door, someone's door, like your neighbor or something, it would be cute as well, but you don't have to put the handle on. All right, it's going to be a little bit longer probably, so stick with me to the end. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing I want to do is stamp everything and get it all ready to go, and we can put everything through the cut and emboss at the same time. So I am using for this, I'm using the Sweet Candy Canes bundle. By the way, I checked and these are all available as far as I know, unless they sold out in a day because this bundle is really good. But um, yeah, this, this bundle was still available. The designer series paper I'm using is also still available. And the, that one, this one's a Santa Express. So I'm using this one. You can also use the one that goes with this, the uh, Sweetest Christmas. And I didn't check on that one, but um, I'm sure that's still that's available too. But I, I'm not positive. I think someone did order that the other day, so the Sweetest Christmas. So I think that's still available as well. I'm using the Stitched Rectangles. And these are the ones that I'm using for this. The, these are from the Sweet Candy Cane. The Candy Cane, I'm actually going to stamp and cut out by hand because I didn't want to use the full candy cane. I'm just using like the stick part and then these are from the stitched rectangles. All right, I'm using shaded spruce and real red for this and that's also the ink that I'm using for this is the shaded spruce and real red. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do I'll, I'll go ahead since I opened that first is stamp the leaves. You need three of these leaves it does come with two dies, so you can cut out two at one time. And then for the real red, we're going to do the sentiment, which is merry and bright. Y'all, it is pouring here, and it was thundering and everything, and I hope that that's over with. Not only because my little doggy, she hates it, she gets all freaked out, Is but I hope it doesn't mess up my video. <laughs> all right, and then we're going to do the candy cane. And don't worry about the full candy cane because we're only going to use part of it. All right. If you want that darker, do it on the Stamparatus. I didn't bring it up here this time, but... I'm just going to make this, cut this freehand, and I'm going to do it like just a candy cane stick. So I'm just going to cut it across here. It's really easy to do. And then I'm just going to round these corners like the other side is, just like that. 
And then I will use the dies to cut these out. So we'll do these two here. And then this smaller one is the one that we're going to use for the Mary and Bright. This one is going to be for the window and I'll show you how I did that as well. But we're not going to do that right now. So I'll be right back. I'm going to run these through and I'll be right back with those. Okay, so we have our three leaves and our Merry and Bright ready to go in our little candy cane that we're all putting on the front of this box. So I'll scoot that out of the way and we are going to make our box. Okay, so for the box, you do need a 12 by 12. This is nine and a half by 10. It's a large box, so you really need the 12 by 12. You'll need to mat it with four pieces that are seven and three quarters by two. So you need four of those. And then a piece of window sheet that is one and three quarters by four. All of these will be in our, my inspiration sheet. If you are new, by the way, don't forget, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And comment below and share. <laughs> my husband always says sharing is caring. <laughs> so um, that would really help my channel a lot. So thank you all for who have been sharing. All right. And then for the top of the box, you'll need a piece that's four and three eighths by four and three eighths. To map that, you need one piece. That is two and an eighth by two and an eighth. And then you need four pieces that are seven eighths by two and an eighth. So that is everything for the box part. All right, let's start with the box itself. We'll go ahead and score these both at the same time. Okay, let's start by scoring the lid first. So you are gonna score this at one inch on all four sides. So just do it at one inch. And that's that. And then on this one, on the 10 inch side, you're going to score it at two inches. And then you're going to turn it. And then on the nine and a half side, you are going to score it at one half. Two and three quarters. Five and seven and one quarter. And that is it, y'all. Okay, so to cut this, this half inch side, we are going to cut that off because the half inch is always our glue tab side. And then I'm going to cut in these and then I'm gonna cut up on each one of these and then just cut some off on, from each end. And another way to do it is just to cut a hair from each side of your score line. It gives you that same little um, amount of space there. And it kind of goes a little bit faster. <laughs> and then just a little bit from your end there. So that is all that we're gonna do on that one. Now let's do our top. On the top one, when these are small like this, I just like to go around, like turn it a quarter of a turn, and then cut into these. And that is all that we're cutting for our lid. Let's go ahead and put the lid together. So sharpen your score marks. I'm gonna use Stampin' Seal Plus. You can use wet glue. You can use tear and tape on this part. I'm just using this because it's, it's quicker. And it does hold the box. It's really strong, y'all. The, the Plus is really strong. Don't use the regular seal because that will not hold your box together for very long. And then line these up really nice. And then we have our lid. Now, we'll sit, we're gonna set it aside for a minute. Now what we're gonna do is sharpen all of these. 
Okay, now you know this is too big to run through the cut and emboss, right? <laughs> so I have a, a way we're going to do this. And it is going to show a little bit um, of the die on this side. And I'll show you what I mean. But don't worry because we're covering it with the designer series paper. So I always check to see which way my box is because I want that at the back. So it's going to be the second one here from your glue tab. So we are going to do it on here. But I'm going to flip it because I want to mat it first. You need to mat this one only first. So I'm going to use my regular seal for that. I'm getting low on both of these seals. I'm going to probably run out. I always should check that before I start a video. It seems like I always run out in the middle of a video. All right, so we're going to mat this piece because that's the one that we are going to be cutting with our die. So the one that we're using is one and a half inches by three and three eighths. So I'm going to put it towards the bottom here. I'm going to grab some of my mint tape because this is where we're going to put all our decorations basically. So I'm going to do it about maybe, I don't know, three quarter inches from the bottom. And I'll bring the cut and emboss over here because I want to show you how to do this. All right, would you believe I'm still using these plates? I think I've almost a year maybe I've been using these. Maybe not quite a year, but. All right, so this one, you're gonna fold over on top of this, like that. And this is a little bit tough to go through because you're going through a lot of layers. So just beware of that. I have to like really push to get it through. But it's going to be just fine. So now see this little indentation here? Don't worry, this is where we're going to cover that and you're not going to see it. So be real careful taking off your mint tape because you don't want to now you don't want to mess up your designer series paper. So just be real gentle taking that off. And then we have our window there. All right, I think everything is already done with this cut and emboss, so I'll scoot it back out of the way. We're gonna grab our window sheet and we're gonna put our window sheet in there. I'm using wet glue for this part because I really like the window sheet on here. Let me see if I can get this working. Just be sure to put plenty of glue on there and then just lay down your window sheet. And I just kind of press it down. It's going to dry clear, but you're not going to even you're not going to even see it. I need to get that excess off. All right. So let's flip it over. And now we're going to mat the top and we're going to mat the rest of these pieces right here. So you're just going to mat these next three right here. Okay, so that's all matted right now. Let's go ahead and mat our lid here. So this is our top. And then all four of these are for our sides. Okay, so our lid is all ready. Now we're going to put this together. I'm going to use Stamp and Seal Plus. Use that or use your tear and tape for this part. And then you are just going to lay this down here. And then because this is our front, I'm going to put these two in first and this is going to go back. Make sure your box is nice and square. 
And then if we did everything just right, our lid will fit on top just like that. I'm going to mark my box where I want the holes to go. I think I measured one and a quarter inches down. Let me double check that though. Maybe one and a half. Yeah, about one and a half inches down. And just try to center it um, the best that you can. It's, it doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure that down here as well. And I'm just marking it. And I'm going to use my smaller hole punch for this because we are going to knot it. Just go all the way in. Here's another way to do it. Just go all the way in with your punch and then punch that and then just turn it around do the exact same thing. And then you got your two holes here. Now I am going to use again the red and green um, combo pack. Y'all, I've gone through a lot of this ribbon, but it's my favorite. Make sure you have a nice point so you can pull it through here. And just tie a knot. You can also reinforce this. I'm not going to do it right now with a piece of regular tape. And just um, put the tape down over that ribbon so it reinforces this. And, but this hole is small, so it doesn't really, um, it didn't really make that much of a difference. And the pretzels are pretty heavy, so if you want to reinforce this. And then I'm going to just measure how long I want that to be. And again, make a nice point on there so you can get it through. And tie another knot. And then you have your handle on like that. I'm going to go ahead and put my pretzels in. So they fit in here just perfect, y'all. So we got four of them in there, but look how cute they look through the to, through the window. And we'll put our top on and we're ready to decorate the front. All right, first thing that I did was I took my little peppermint here and I just, I'm gonna glue these on. If I can get my glue to work today, it's giving me a hard time. So I just put that down. And then I'm popping this one up. I gotta grab my dimensionals here with a couple dimensionals. Our merry and bright. And I did it at a slant here, which when you use wet glue too, you can move it a little bit on it up a little bit more. And then do our merry and bright here. And then we're going to take our little leaves here and we are going to add those. So I'm adding one here and then one on the bottom. And then I'm adding also one at the very bottom here. And then I'm going to use a regular hole punch and we're just going to punch our own little berries from this. So I think I punched six. <laughs> and then we're just going to put our berries on here. This is another good way to use your, your take your pick tool, which I always forget to grab. I actually have it very nearby, so let me grab that. It's just so much easier. And I'm going to put two down here and then one up at the top. 
isn't this much easier than trying to pick them up and I my hands sometimes they don't want to work and it's so much easier just using this little tool all right y'all so there you have it it's all done I know there's a little reflection I'm sorry about that and then we have our little handle but again you don't have to put the handle if you don't want but aren't they cute inside there you can see these but be this better um, this one is the peppermint one so if you want to put those at the front or you can just make the ones however you like here's the other one I hope you enjoyed it everyone if you need any supplies everything will be listed on my blog you blog you can shop right there at stampingwithamore.com I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll catch you in the next one see you later everyone bye